right, so this gigantic package right here uh, was actually sent over to me by a man named John Wilkinson. He's a buddy of mine who hit me up on YouTube. Uh, later on, emailed me saying, hey, I have a system. Uh, it's a camera, it's a couple of lenses that I do not use. I want to just give it to you just as a contribution to your channel. Uh, John also mentioned that he enjoyed what I do and enjoyed the content and encourages me to keep on going. So he sent me all of this stuff just as a contribution to the channel. And holy crap, there is a lot of stuff in here. It feels like Christmas to me. So let's go ahead and check inside to see what we have. All right, I'm gonna put the box down here. All right, for starters, we have a quick little Olympus flash. So it looks like one of those really old, cool flashes that you know mount on top of the camera. So that's cool. That's awesome, man. It's really bulky. Whoa. So back in the day, they used to have these little L bracket things that held the camera right here and the flash on top. Matter of fact, really quick, I'm gonna just throw the flash up on here just to give you guys an idea. So yeah, the flash would mount up there and then the camera would go right here, so. Bow, bow, bow. We also have a battery grip right here which attaches over to the camera. Here's a little uh, connector switch, I'm guessing for the flash because it's a hot shoe mount. And then also here is a another connector type 4 type of thing. Pretty sure these two go together. Damn, John, really quick, this is a lot of stuff. I don't know how you crammed all of the stuff into this package. It literally says on the box here it's 15 pounds. That's just a lot of a lot of equipment, man. All right, so we got to our first little package thing here. It looks like a lens. Uh, on the top it says Vivitar. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh, okay, so this right here is just a little, it's a little macro extension tube. Pretty dope. I haven't really used macro extension tubes before in the past, so it'll be fun to experiment with this right here. All right, now the second lens is actually in like this little bubble wrap. I'm gonna take it out really quick. Okay, so this is it right here. Vivitar Series 1, I don't know if you guys can see that. So if you guys didn't know, Vivitar Series 1 lenses were like the pro grade line for Vivitar at that time. Let's see what's on. Ooh, 28 to 90, 2.8 to 3.5, that's insane. So I have a 28-90 to 3.5, I'm sorry, 2.8 to 3.5 zoom lens of Vivitar Series 1. Awesome, it's so solid too. Like, I love the way these lenses were built. So that's awesome, that's the first lens here. Some packaging, just throw it off to the side. All right, the next one we have is this one right here. Let's go ahead and open it up to see what we have. Okay, so it's Tokina, or Albinar, pretty much. 135 2.8, so here is a 135 millimeter 2.8. Just look at how beautiful that front glass element truly is. Just look how it reflects light, it's awesome, man. <laughs> I can't wait to try some of these out, especially because I'm really into portraits right now, and the 135 is gonna be an awesome focal length to try out. But wait, that's not even it, you guys. There's a lot more, so next one up here is another big lens case. These lens cases are really solid too. By the way, John, I don't know if you were the original owner. I'm pretty sure you said, you know, your dad got you this system, but uh, these lenses are in extremely good condition. It's almost as if like they got it new and like never really touched it or used it. So here's another Tokina lens right here. Uh, it comes with a little lens hood at the top. Uh, let's see what we have. 35 to 135, 3.5 to 4.5. Now, a lot of these focal lengths are very interesting. Uh, in today's standards, the 24 to 105, 24 to 70, uh, you know, it's those are like the standard focal lengths, 70 to 200. But seeing some of these older focal lengths, like 35 to 135, like who would have thought of that? That's awesome, man. So I'm, I'm so juiced to try these out, man. I just had a cup of coffee, so I'm buzzing off right now. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Last but not least, we have this gigantic beast right here of a lens. It almost looks like one of those like food canister things. Also, I love how there's like red velvet inside of there. <laughs> it's dope. All right, let's see what this is right here. So it's a Vivitar lens. If you guys can see that right up at the front, let's take this. One. Oh shoot! Let's take this off here. Damn! Just look at that element again, dude. These lenses are really made beautifully. All right, let's see what this is. 75 to 2.5, 3.8. So that's pretty fast for, it's a, it's a fixed aperture zoom lens, which is awesome. 75 to 205, that is a really long reach. Just imagine shooting wildlife, which is interesting. I wanna shoot some wildlife, especially on film. I wonder how that would be, cause you know, shutter probably, you're pretty much gonna have to like, shoot at your maximum shutter speed, which with a lot of cameras is one with thousands of a second. So that's the last lens. We have a total of one, two, 
three, and four lenses, you guys. So four lenses total. And now for the main event of the evening, we, <laughs> damn, this thing is beautiful, man. Hold on. All right, you guys, here it is, the Olympus OM2S program. Now, this thing is in absolute pristine condition. Like, look at this matte black paint. It has this really nice shining grit to it. Also, like, the shutter sounds so mechanical as well. This is awesome, dude. Holy crap. I've, this is the first Olympus that I've ever owned. Uh, I had an OM1 before that broke on me, so I didn't. I don't necessarily, you know, consider me owning it. The Olympus OM2S program, man. Now, don't let the name fool you, the OM2S program, if you guys didn't know. I did some research on this before, you know, John actually sent it over. As you guys can see there, it has program, and then I think it says auto, and then... On the bottom here, it's manual spot metering. So if you guys aren't a fan of program mode or auto, just you know throw it on manual. You have on the top right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe if I zoom it in, let me see, zooming it in here. Uh, right at the top here is the shutter speed selector. So the Olympus cameras are a little weird because they have them on front of the lens mount. And then on the top here, sometimes it's just the film speed. But for this one, it's exposure compensation. So I think placement right here is actually really nice as well. Because if you ever need to use exposure compensation, it's readily available in your right hand, you know, which you're pretty much used to on all cameras. Uh, so, oh my God, the Olympus OM2S program. John, thank you so much for all of this stuff. Definitely, I'm so grateful for everything you've sent over. I'm actually gonna plan a video to go out and shoot the Olympus OM2S program. I'm definitely gonna keep this thing forever, man. And honestly, I'm just extremely blessed, you know, to be able to like, receive this type of stuff and for you being so generous. So thank you for contributing to the channel, John Wilkinson, again, man. You're awesome. Holy crap. It looks like, oh, look at the colors in the sky, that's nice. But yeah, another rainy day in California. Awesome. Okay, let's put you guys up here. I'm really just gonna take a moment to tell you guys a story about what happened last week. So, last week pretty much what happened was I was in the mood and the vibe of really shooting some street photography. Um, I needed to take a break from taking portraits and what I did was I went out with the Canon A1 and I took some Ilford HP5, pushed it up to 1600 and just walked around and took some shots in my local area. So I'm going to play some clips for you guys from that day and then show you the photos that I made with the Canon A1. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Sit back, relax and enjoy your ride here through King James. <laughs> enjoy you guys. Now I am at the local waterfront. I have right here with me the Canon A1. Also on the front there, I don't think you guys can see that, but it's a 50 millimeter 1.4. And I have some Ilford HP5 uh, push to 1600 right now. So it's getting a little, you know, the sun is coming down, golden hour. Hopefully capture some really dope stuff. There's a nice little uh, railroad station, uh, sorry, a train station down that way that I do want to hit. But there's a lot of light, a lot of activity around here. So hopefully, you know, we could capture some important so let's go out and shoot some street photography. How you doing? Good. I was like, man, that guy looks familiar and then I saw the camera, I was like, oh that has to be John. <laughs> Take some shit up, yep. Yeah. Alright dude, I'll see All you right, later. You, man. Yes sir. sir. So I'm headed to that railroad track train station type of deal. Um, the light right now, it's just about to set. So it's casting this really nice glow. I was, I was in my car driving over here and then I saw a guy sitting on the bench. I'm not sure if he's still there or if I already missed him, but it's worth a shot. I'm gonna take the walk down there to go see what I could do. Look at this. I literally just took a picture of that truck. Uh, I gotta wind this up real quick. Okay, focus in. I really need to shoot the sun. Dang it, it just went over the horizon. All right, I'm gonna go shoot this real quick. Give me one second. Hey, with the MTV, yeah, I know. Come on. <laughs> All, right. All right, man. You guys have a good day. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Thanks. Good catch. Oh, 
So those were the clips from last week and Sassoon here in the street photography. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some photos and say hi to my mom. Hi mom. Shut How up. are you? Shut up. I'm hungry. Sorry, I just Shut up. Alright you guys, so that's going to wrap it up for tonight's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment below if you guys enjoyed those photos as well. The Canon A1 was a blast to shoot and honestly, I really want to get 35 for my A1 or a 28 just so I can get some of that wider angle field of view. But that's it you guys. Again, big shout out to the man, John Wilkinson. Thank you buddy for sending me that stuff. It really means a lot to me and all the support you've given me and all the contributions. It's absolutely amazing. So John Wilkinson, thank you again man. For those of you guys watching this video, drop a like. Thank you guys for watching. As always, it's been King Japes. Till next time. Yeet!